Hello fellow stackers 365 here welcome back to my channel so in today's video I wanted to talk to you about the best place to hide silver in your house now before we go any further the example I'm going to give you today is obviously not where I hide my silver because I have a YouTube channel I have to be extra careful with my silver storage I don't actually keep any more than 50 ounces at any one time on my property that is purely because I'm out there making these sort of videos. I have to be extra vigilant and extra careful of my storage decisions. However, this is kind of for the person, the average person out there that started stacking silver, that doesn't put it all over Facebook and YouTube and social media. And just kind of to give you some, some ideas of different storage places. So as you can see, I'm in my kitchen here, very, very normal kitchen got all the normal appliances the normal cupboards and all the rest of it and today I've made a mock-up hiding place just to give you kind of an example of what I mean by hiding silver in plain sight now like I said fairly standard kitchen you've got your appliances your cupboards your your oven toaster all the rest of it and to someone that's coming in to your house to look for anything valuable this is kind of one of the last places they're going to start looking in my opinion it's a kitchen not many people hide their valuables downstairs in a property anyway it's quite often kind of upstairs in the bedrooms and places like that so that's why i think a kitchen's quite a nice idea to hide your valuables because it's kind of one of the last places in my opinion that someone would start looking for valuables so like i said this is a kind of a mock-up place where you can keep silver just to kind of help your your head get in the space of being creative and thinking outside the box when it comes to stashing your silver in your house. So as you can see, I've got fairly normal cupboards in this kitchen. However, I want to draw your attention to this cupboard in particular. It's just got a towel draped over the drawer at the top. Now let me just set the camera up here. So you can see it's just a normal drawer here and a normal cupboard here now if we go into here you can see it's a very standard normal cupboard it's got dog food in there and fish food got some more fish food at the top some tins of dog food some pet stuff and all the rest of it so very very standard normal looking cupboard However, if we start to move some of the items away, you'll see at the back there, we just have some more boxes of dog food. Now, if we start to pull these boxes away, you'll see it's not all as it seems. This top one is an empty box. We remove these ones also. You'll see that in fact, and it is actually hollowed out on the inside. You can see with sellotape and hot glue, it is just a shell. And you can see at the back there, it conceals a treasure chest. Got 100 ounces of silver there in bars, airtight container. some individual one ounce coins there some more coins and also a whole tube of Britannia's so as you can see right at the back of the cupboard we have a false box in front of it so it's just about thinking outside the box and remembering that 
having a safe isn't always the safest place to store your silver. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below. Bit of a different video, but I just kind of wanted to get people's uh, creativity flowing and just to kind of make you think outside the box. You don't have to just necessarily have a safe that's hidden in your bedroom. You can be a bit more creative with your silver stash. Never hide your whole stash in one place. You don't want your whole stash being hidden in the same place because if it gets found, everything has gone in one go. Separate it into little blocks of silver and hide it throughout your house. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day.